Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Wednesday, the 3rd of April, 2024. Quite an unexpected day. And if you're wondering why, it's because based off of what happened on last night's late stream, I made some big determinations and changes to my schedule. I immediately enforced them, and we had an epic day. So let's talk about that, shall we? So here's what happened last night. For those who missed it, last night I decided to do a Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection stream. I was just curious that if I played the game, how would it would do? Because, number one, I played it on launch day and it hadn't worked. The whole game was bugged out and not working. And it was disappointing that I had bought this game and intended to play it for you guys on stream. And basically we didn't get any content out of it because it was broken. Now, supposedly they had patched it and we were working again, so I had a big amount of curiosity about that. But number two, <clears throat> people have been asking for variety on the streams, saying there's been too many RPGs in the rotation and people are bored of them. They want action. They want different kinds of games. So on a whim, I tried it out last night and attendance was great and support was outstanding and people had a great time. I was joking around with everyone, singing songs, talking about you know conversation about random things while I played. People absolutely loved it. And it was one of my most well-received late night streams that I've done in a while. So based off of that, I made a determination. The problems I've been having on this channel are not me and are not the audience. It's the games. I've been playing too many RPGs. As I said, I knew this was going to happen in January. I said with the way that my channel works, the way that my audience is, people just don't want nonstop RPGs. If I play all these RPGs that are coming out, despite the fact that they're all huge releases and people say they want them, it ain't going to work. People are going to get upset, they're going to get bored, and they're going to say it's too much of a good thing. And I agree, and that's what happened, is Baldur's Gate 3, and Like a Dragon and all that, was just too much RPG content for everybody. So now I'm trying to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, it ain't going to work. I'm trying to play in Dragon's Dogma 2, it ain't going to work. People want variety again. So based off of this data, I made a determination overnight, which I announced on today's Level 1 podcast, and there were two big things. Number one, I'm bringing back Street Fighter VI into the mix starting this Friday, it's not going to be every single day or anything like that. In fact, it might not even be more than once this coming week, depending. It's actually a short streaming week, which I'll explain in a moment. Um, but Friday Night Fights will come back this Friday. Every Friday night, we're going to play fighting games. We're going to start with Street Fighter VI, see how that goes, depending on how it goes. If people really like it, we'll keep it in the mix. And if not, if it gets stale right away, we could try to get Fight Cage set up and start doing that. But basically, Street Fighter VI returns Friday night. People seemed very pumped for that announcement. Okay, that's number one. Number two... I've had it with the RPGs. No one's showing up for them. So as of now, they're all on hiatus except Elden Ring, which is a game that people did show up for, did support, and I need to get through because I need to unlock the, the point to where the DLC is going to be in June so it makes sense to play that right now. And so, no more Dragon's Dogma 2, no more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, none of that right now. All right? Maybe we'll get back to those later in the year, but people want a break from RPG content on this channel and I'm giving it to them. Okay? People speak with their views their engagement, and their support. And that is outright what I'm being told via every time I try to do an RPG stream, having low attendance, low engagement, and no support. That's what that means, okay? So, instead, I'm going to try a game that people have asked me to play for two months and I put off and said maybe I would do it, but probably not. It's not my style of game. But people keep asking for it, so it was official. Today I announced I'm going to try Helldivers 2, and I changed the streaming schedule so it would be tonight. And that's what I just did. So, here's how today's streams went. Alone in the Dark on the first stream. Three hours of great progress, good variety, way more challenging survival horror gameplay now as the game actually picked it up a notch and got way tougher with the amount of enemies, the, the scarcity of ammo. I died a bunch today. I kept getting mobbed by enemies and killed in tough parts. I was like, wow, it actually did get a lot more challenging now. Uh, the plot is even more interesting, even more plot twists and turns today. Super good survival horror game. If you like survival horror, you're going to like Alone in the Dark. Um, I don't know why reviewers panned it besides the fact that they're just a bunch of fucking idiots who don't understand what survival horror is supposed to be because they're all just looking for this one cookie cutter formula of what it should be and the game is good. I, if you like survival horror, you're going to like Alone in the Dark. Give it a shot. Okay? Anyway, great progress today and it looks like we're on pace to probably finish it when we play it next. And then tonight, I played Hell Divers 2 for the very first time. I bought it, installed it on PS5. We had over 700 viewers for most of the stream. Support was absolutely outstanding for the stream. And people were engaged and having a great time. They were helping me to understand the systems and stuff. <clears throat> so I did basic training. Got out there. Immediately did a solo mission. The first mission you, I did solo. And then after that, I figured out how to do quick play and drop into other people's missions. So I started doing it and had a lot of fun. 
there were some some issues. One match, I died, and the game would not allow me to be revived for no reason. Everyone's like, yeah, it's glitched. You're, you just got, sadly, you ran into a glitch like your third match, and no one can revive you. It sucks. Another match, someone who was like, I'm not even kidding, they were ranked like level 89 or something like that. So this is someone who's been playing nonstop since the game came out, starting like griefing me. Like I would spawn, there's, they would kill me. And then I would respawn, they would kill me again. I'd respawn, kill me again. I was like, what are they doing? It was odd because it was like, it wasn't hurting my stream. My stream still had great attendance. No one cared about this. It wasn't like, oh, they're ruining Phil's stream. Um, everyone just kind of scratched their head like what the person's problem was. Someone who played the crap out of the game since it came out and acting like that, it didn't serve any purpose. It wasn't even really trolling. It wasn't like, oh, you know, trolling would be like, oh, I can't play the game now. But I easily could have just, I quit the match and go to another one. So it didn't make any sense at all. The guy's just like, like, I'm serious. Like, I had to be, like, mentally slow or something to think that that was some, a, a, a use of time that was getting anything. Like, no one cares. Everyone's, like, just so odd. We were all shocked. And, like, what is this person doing? It's idiocy, right? Anyway, um, outside of those two issues, for the most part, I really like the game. The best comparison I can make of Hell's Divers 2, and I know this will sound weird because I'm not talking about the gameplay element or the gameplay loop. I'm talking about the style of game. It reminds me of Left 4 Dead, <clears throat> way back when. A game that you didn't have to go into with any level of skill, but you could just play and match make into a, a match with a bunch of randoms, and you could jump in and have silly fun trying to survive. And it was about helping each other, reviving each other, working together, right? The difference is this game's way more complex because it has all these trees of unlockable guns and armor and stratagems, which is basically summoning in a powerful weapon or getting an orbital strike or doing all these things to help you in combat. Um, but it has those trees, so it's like it's incentive to play more, get better, and then unlock better stuff and keep playing. That's the loop that hooks you, right? Left 4 Dead didn't have that. Left 4 Dead was just silly fun, drop in, play, drop out, you're done. In this case, there's incentive to keep playing. Um, so overall, I like it. The graphics were great, by the way. Graphics of Helldivers 2 are very good. I was surprised at how good it ran and looked uh, very smooth, 60 frames, on PS5. Um, so I liked it. Now, was I good? Absolutely not. I was terrible at it. I didn't know really what I was doing. I didn't understand how the guns work. If anything, I'm proud to say I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill any of my teammates. No friendly fire deaths, which was good. But outside of that, um, you know, I was learning all the basics and, and you know, didn't really get do so well because I was, you know, really trying to just get a grasp of the gameplay loop and how to use the weapons and, and things like that. Uh, it's a game that I feel like the more I play, the better I'll get and the more I'll like it. It's just a game that at first, that first session, you know, just learning the ropes is a little bit tricky. And then once you learn the ropes, it's a little better, right? So overall, I enjoyed my time in the game. People seem to like watching the game. No complaints. And that will now be a game I bought. So now I can play it moving forward. It seems like it'll work in the rotation as a game to uh, for variety. Good. But at first, the only reason, to be honest, the only reason I didn't play it, I wasn't under the impression you could just drop in as a random and it would be fun. I thought it's a game that you really needed a dedicated team of people working together, talking and everything. It doesn't seem to be the case. It seems like you can just be a random and actually have fun with the game. If I had known that, I would have played it way earlier. No exaggeration, I would have. I don't know why it... I mean, everyone agrees, I guess, it is better with a team. An established team, that is, that communicates. But if you're just playing it more casually like I am, I'm not trying to get seriously good at Helldivers 2. I just want to play a game for variety in my, my rotation. Seems like it's 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 a game that will work, okay? So I, I'm pleased with how it went. I can't wait to play more. Now here's the thing. Two things. Number one, tomorrow's my day off. So no streams tomorrow. Okay? Number two, next week is a shortened streamed week for me. Why? Because my anniversary, my wedding anniversary, is on April 10th, and my wife and I have decided that we want to spend the day together. So we're taking that day off instead of the usual Thursday. Normally it would have been April 11th that I would have had off, Thursday. But instead we're taking the 10th off Wednesday so we can be together for our anniversary. And because of that, it's only a five day streaming week. This week already is a weird week because it's my birthday week. So here's what we expect when I come back. On Friday, April 4, uh, 5th, it's gonna be the level one podcast discussing how stuff went today and also any news and stuff about my day off. And then it's gonna be the continuation of Elden Ring's second run. This time around, we're going to be heading northeast after we clear the magic plateau because there's a few left uh, things left to do there. We're going to head northeast into the frozen wastes area of the game uh, with all the giants and the tough enemies up there. And we're going to try to explore that area, clear it out, start doing the, the meaningful stuff there like, you know, forts, the boss fights, things like that. We have to do all that because once all that's cleared out, then we can get to Moog's Blood Palace. But we have to do the, the introductory stuff first, and that's probably what Friday stream is going to be. Um, 
Then Friday night, it's the return of Friday Night Fights, Street Fighter VI. Now, I'm not going to start playing ranked right away. Why? I haven't played the game for two and a half months. The game has had some rebalancing that I need to learn and understand. And there's even a new character in the game, Ed, who I've never even seen before. So what I'd like to do is play uh, casual matches with the characters that I'm good with. I don't know if I'll use one or two or all of them. I have no clue. But I, I am craving the game now. I want to play it more. And I'm excited to play it Friday night for all of you. The Return of Street Fighter VI. Saturday, April 6th, is my birthday. So we're doing a birthday marathon that's going to include food, booze, birthday cake, a schedule segment where we go through game releases and plan out the schedule for the rest of the year so we know what months have heavier game releases and what don't, and we know what's coming up and exactly when. We're also going to have a segment where I'm going to react to my most viewed videos of all time. Actually, today I put together that playlist, and we'll talk about it on Friday, but... The playlist is a pretty neat playlist. Um, I think I put like 29 videos into this playlist and each video is only like 10 minutes long tops because that's how long my videos were from my oldest videos. They were always 10 minutes long. So are we going to watch all of them? Well, I mean, that would be 300 minutes. I don't think we're going to be watching 300 minutes of reacting to these, but it'll be cool to count down the top the most top watched videos. In fact, I guarantee you most people probably won't even know what are the top watched videos that you've made in your almost 16 years as a creator. So that's going to be a very fun segment that we're going to do. Um, but in addition to that, now we have options. Would you like to see me do some Helldivers 2 on my birthday? Would you like to see me do some Street Fighter 6 on my birthday? Why not? So these are now possibilities for things to do. And uh, if you ask for it, we'll do it. So now my birthday marathon looks like it's going to be a mix of gameplay, schedule, reminiscing. It's going to be a great time. I hope you'll join me all day Saturday if you can make it. Sunday now is a React Day all day with the DSP versus the Internet show on DSP Reacts early. But then the late stream is going to be the premiere of me reacting to The Walking Dead Season 1. We're going to try to do the entire Episode 1 react on that late stream on the DSP Throwback channel. Monday, we're going to finish up Alone in the Dark. Sadly, no late stream on Monday because I'm actually going to be doing uh, private React videos for patrons. But then Tuesday, it's kind of open. So I'm thinking maybe we do Helldivers 2 during the day on Tuesday. And maybe Tuesday night, if my wife's up to it, we could start our co-op playthrough of Beyond Two Souls. And if not, maybe we do some Street Fighter. What a good week. What a, a five-day short week. But it's going to be a fun one with all kinds of variety. No RPGs that no one wants. All right. Everyone, thank you so much for putting up with this nonsense as we figured out the schedule. Thank you for understanding. Now, all games you want on the horizon. Sounds like a good time, doesn't it? I wish you all the best. I hope you have a safe and fun Thursday. I will see you Friday morning for the podcast and Elden Ring. Thank you all. Have a good day. See you then. Peace out.